guys, it's Ray here. Welcome back and happy new year. So I just wanna start off by saying this video was not supposed to happen literally whatsoever. The dramatic and borderline unbelievable backstory is this week I was gonna do a video on an art supply mystery box from eBay. I got the introduction started. I had gotten the thumbnail ready. I got my fancy B-roll shots. And finally, Wednesday night, it came the time for me to unbox said eBay box, and <sighs> this is what happened. But like you guys saw, it was wrapped up like a present, so I'm sure the four art supplies are inside the box. What the fuck is this? So needless to say, the, the seller sent the wrong item. And if it was literally any other week this year, I would have just been like, I'll just skip this week and work on a video for next Friday. But I can't upload next week because I'm moving and I don't wanna just disappear from the internet for half a month. So I put my last two brain cells to use and today I'm putting together what is probably one of the most chaotic videos I have ever made, a $300 art supply haul. But on a real note, I've decided to start buying in bulk and in extra. That way I can try to stay home as much as humanly possible. And luckily I work from home. So if that's just something that I can do to like reduce going out and putting people at risk, hey, I'm cool with that, you know? Everything that I got, I would say is mostly pretty affordable. The most expensive thing that I got was a guillotine coming in at 26.84. I wish I was kidding. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much everything else except for like maybe two things is $10 and under. So yeah, let's go ahead and start off with Walmart. Now Walmart has really stepped up their art supply game. Like I was genuinely surprised with it. Starting off with these three piece art brushes. These Royal and Langnickel brushes are so bomb. I use them in so many different videos. And plus, at least in my area, it's kind of hard to find like large flat brushes in a pack like this. Usually they come in a pack like this and you have to spend like a lot of extra money. So yeah, I bought two of them. These are what's it. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that... <laughs> no, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I use these palettes all the time for like swatches and videos and things like that. But this year I decided to invest in a better palette, a more permanent palette, a bigger palette, and a palette that I can wash out and use over and over and over again. Oof, girl, we're only on the second thing and I already need a water break. Now for this next item, I literally only bought it because TikTok convinced me that I need it. Prepare yourselves, my friend, because this pen is supposed to be like God tier. This, my friends, is Sharpie's brand new S-Gel Metal Pen. This pen apparently glides across the paper like I saw somebody say like Christy Yamaguchi. <laughs> apparently it has really good quality ink so everything is like bold in black smooth lettering. Dude, this pen is amazing. I can't stop sliding it around because it just slides so easily. So yeah, I really wanna make a TikTok on this, try it out, I don't know. But I will keep you guys updated on this pen. Now, if you guys don't know, Walmart is one of the cheapest places where you can buy bulk canvas. And so for a future video where I'm gonna try out paint pouring, I got six of these nine by 12 canvases. If you're painting on a budget and you like canvas panel, I recommend these. These are so cheap and so good. Okay, so do you remember when earlier when I said that Walmart is really stepping up their art supply section? Now, Walmart has really stepped up their art supply game. I didn't know this, but apparently Walmart has recently started selling the Jelly Roll white fine liners. And when I found this three pack that included three different sizes, my brain exploded. These are so great for your pen drawings, watercolor drawings, marker drawings. These pens work so incredible for highlighting. If you're looking for a budget-friendly white highlight gel pen, I highly recommend the Jelly Rolls. I've used these for pretty much years at this point. And even better, anything that you can't put this Jelly Roll on, Walmart recently started selling an oil-based paint marker. And these are an absolute staple for anybody who does oil painting. Like for example, instead of plopping on a giant blob of white oil paint for like the highlight of your eyeball, 
You can just use this bad boy and it'll dry within a few minutes. And not just that, but it's more precise because it's in the form of a pen. And that alone is a godsend for someone like me who's like incredibly shaky. <laughs> So I have been needing one of these for the dawn of time at this point. In fact, I would argue that most artists should maybe try one of these out at least once in their lifetime. This is an artist mannequin. You can move it in any way that you want. You can get any pose that you want, especially if you need something for your OCs, you're studying the human figure, you need a unique reference pose. This bad boy got you covered. And between you and me, the aesthetics so amazing. Nothing screams art ho aesthetic more than this guy. And the last two things that I got from Walmart are just like refills of things that I'm always using as an artist on YouTube. 10 piece tortillions and an eraser set. Need I say more? So yeah, my total at Walmart was 100. I forgot the guillotine. By far the most expensive thing that I got coming in at $26 is a paper cutter, AKA a paper guillotine. <laughs> like I said, I have the world's shakiest hand and even when I cut stuff with scissors, it still comes out all wonky. Well, this is the solution. Now I never have to worry about wonky paper ever again. And plus the ASMR of it cutting paper is just so satisfying. So yeah, my total at Walmart was $107.53. All right, so the next store that I have gone to, I try to only go there when I'm desperate. <laughs> so if you don't know, I live actually in the middle of nowhere in a really small town. And the only craft store in my area is Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm just gonna say it. I've been trying to distance myself as much as I can throughout this whole entire year and away from their brand. During the start of the virus, they did a lot of sketchy stuff that I don't really agree with. And obviously it's kind of hard because sometimes I'm filming videos and I need something like right then and there. So I'll just like go to Hobby Lobby or whatever, but I've been trying to distance. So yeah, at Hobby Lobby, I picked up mostly just like the absolute essentials that I need starting with this 18 piece brush set. Now I was actually mildly impressed because pretty much every type of brush that I use, it's located within this pack. Like sometimes I get brush packs and I only use like half the brushes or whatever, but no, this one has literally every single type of brush that I use. It's nothing too fancy, but it'll definitely get the job done over the next four to six months. The next thing that I picked up is an absolute staple in my art supply collection. If you're an artist and you've never used one of these, let me tell you, it's a game changer. These, my friends, are Faber-Castell's eraser pencils. And they are exactly what it sounds like. It's an eraser that you can sharpen into a very fine point, just like a pencil. When it comes to fine details, getting individual hairs, eyelashes, oh, this thing is so good and it's so incredibly useful. Uh, I also picked up some charcoal pencils in medium hardness. This was actually the first time that I've seen the medium pencils by themselves. Usually it comes with like a pack of like soft, hard, medium. And to be quite honest with you, I only end up using the medium because that's like my preferred charcoal hardness. And at this point, I have a large collection of soft and hard charcoal pencils that I don't really get to use that much because I focus so much on the medium pencils. I also picked up some microns in the smallest sizes possible. I don't know if any of you other artists can relate, but it seems like whenever I get the pack of microns, the smallest one is never quite small enough. Like I want it so small that it's invisible. <laughs> and plus when you have really shaky hands like myself, I'm sure a lot of you guys know when the line is thicker, you can easily see mistakes. So the smaller the line is, the more you can go over it and fix a mistake and the less obvious it is. Now, speaking of absolute staples, I picked up three sketchbooks. And if you've been a long time viewer of my channel, you know that I cannot live without these sketchbooks. In fact, when people ask me what my personal preference for sketchbooks are, it's these two specifically. My all time favorite, my OG, toned gray Strathmore paper. How many videos have I made with this? How many colored pencil drawings have I done with this? I absolutely love 
gray paper. Especially for realism, you can pull out dark shadows, you can pull out the whitest of whites. It just gives you so much value. Uh, the second one is also by Strathmore. This is their Visual Journal Mixed Media Paper. Oh my god, I literally love that. So basically, when you flip it around, it gives you this massive list of art supplies that you can use with this paper. Like for example, this paper is too thin to hold acrylic, to hold watercolor, to hold markers. But with mixed media paper, you can literally use all of those things and more. And I've only ever been able to find the small size, like do you see how small it is compared to my head? Maybe I just have a big head, I don't know. So yeah, if you're just starting artwork, you're looking for a sketchbook, you don't know what kind to get, I highly recommend Strathmore's Visual Journal Mixed Media Paper. And by the way, I actually got two. One is for like my everyday studio stuff when I film videos and the other one is for a secret project. And the last thing that I picked up at Hobby Lobby was actually three things. You guys know I absolutely love doing oil paintings, but for me personally, I'm just not really a fan of canvas. I'm not really a fan of how bouncy it is. I'm not really a fan of the texture. So yeah, every single time that I oil paint, I like to use gesso board. I love painting on gesso board. I love how hard it is. I love the way you can be a little bit more rough with it. I love the fact that it's 100% smooth. Unlike canvas, it doesn't really absorb your paint. If you have not tried painting on gesso board, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. And the last thing that I got from Hobby Lobby was five by seven canvas panels in a five pack. And my total for Hobby Lobby was 136 bucks. And the last place that I went where I got by far the most items was Dollar Tree. So like I said, I'm actually moving next week. And what I haven't told you is at my new place, not only do I have one art studio, I have two. Yes, I have two. Here's a peek of my new studio. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's all, that's all. But anyway, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because at Dollar Tree, I got so much cleaning supplies, art organization sets, baskets, just things for my art studio so I can get everything set up and nice and pristine. Hi. So it's currently like seven in the morning. I stayed up all night. <laughs> and I've decided to refilm this last part because I literally spent the last 20 minutes of the original video talking about plastic Dollar Tree baskets. But anyway, you might have noticed that all the art supplies that I've shown so far, they don't equal up to $300. So instead of explaining everything one by one, consider this a speed round. Starting off with a variety of Crayola products. You guys know that Crayola is the gold standard for cheap art supplies. I got Uniball's version of the S gel pens, a buttload of Tortillions because I'm always using them. And here's everything condensed down into one image. So dub this. Ah! Oh. oh God. The freaking light cover just like fell off and just gave me a heart attack. I need to go to bed. So for the very last time, say goodbye to the studio because it'll be the last time you see it. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.